dementia researcher with a blog and a rating. As someone who would have identified at the beginning of their PhD as a qualitative researcher, a consequence of doing qual research in the past and not because of any partisan fate of the paradigm, embracing mixed methods research has been both challenging and rewarding. Through the process of planning and conducting mixed methods research, I have engaged with the challenges relating to definition, design, and more recently the messiness of actually doing mixed methods research in an applied setting. In this post, I summarise the things you'll need to think about when planning a mixed methods research study, including characteristics and key design elements like sequencing, points of interface, and methodological priority. There are varying ways mixed methods research has been defined since the paradigm emerged in the mid to late 1980s. For example, mixed methods, mixed methodology, methodological triangulation, multi-method research, integrated research, combined research, and mixed research. The nature and controversies of definitions depend on the scientific community and focus of the work, whether that be methods, methodology, or methods, methodology, and philosophy. Given the evolutionary nature of concepts of mixed methods research, another approach to what Creswell and Clark describe as a vague and often confusing priority that is a definition of mixed methods research, is to understand the key characteristics and appraise them in respect of your research. This should avoid the use of a-contextual definitions borrowed from others. There is general consensus that key characteristics of mixed methods research are the collection and analysis of both qualitative and quantitative data, integration of qualitative and quantitative data sets, organisation of research processes into a specific research design that provide the logic and procedure for conducting the study and framing these within theory and philosophy. Once you understand the key attributes, it is much easier to apply them to a mixed methods research design. For example, if you need to firstly develop understanding of a phenomena to discover hypotheses to test, you may find yourself using an exploratory mixed methods design. Examples of the key mixed methods research design are provided below but if you wish to delve deeper into more complex designs such as mixed methods evaluation and trials, Creswell and Clark's 2017 guidance listed at the bottom of this post is where I would go. A further consideration at this point is the sequencing of qualitative and quantitative phases in the research design. For example, applying the earlier example, exploring an area to uncover a hypothesis to test would suggest a sequential design, whereby the initial qualitative phase informs the quantitative phase. This would be called an exploratory sequential mixed methods research design. Examples of sequencing in mixed methods research are provided below. Understanding and clarifying the point at which qualitative and quantitative phases interface, integrate or connect, as it has been termed, is an integral part of mixed methods research. Key types of integration are presented below. Considering and clarifying the points of interface ensures you are not just reporting on distinct strands of qualitative and quantitative research, and instead engaging with questions relating to the approach and purpose of mixing methods. For example, through comparison, connection, or assimilation of different data sets. A thread on ResearchGate suggests asking yourself the following questions to determine the point at which quantitative and qualitative phases mix. As well as determining sequencing or order of quantitative and qualitative phases in the research design, their priority needs to be clarified also. Simply this means considering out of each which has greater importance in the study. Once you're aware of the order and priority of the mixed methods design, you can apply a formula. For example, in my research, I use a sequential mixed methods design, whereby qualitative research methods inform the development of quantitative procedures, Each phase is given equal priority, also referred to as dialectic pluralism. A simple formula for this mixed method research design is qual plus quam. Other formulas you may come across are presented below. Dealing with the complexities of key mixed methods research design elements, such as those that have been merely touched on in this post, is key to helping you convey methodological rigour and for those less familiar with mixed methods paradigm, providing guidance and aiding accessibility. Thanks for reading or listening to this post. Ta. Thank you for listening. Join the Dementia Research bloggers and share your own views.